This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This story read by the Reluctant Penguin. Fables for the Frivolous by Guy Whitmore Carroll. The Vainglorious Oak and the Modest Bulrush. A bulrush stood on a river's rim, and an oak that grew nearby looked down with cold hauteur on him and addressed him this way Hi. The rush was a proud patrician, and he retorted, Don't you know what the veriest boar should understand that high is low? This cutting rebuke the oak ignored. He returned, My slender friend, I will frankly state that I am somewhat bored with the way you bow and bend. But you quite forget, the rush replied. It's an art these bows to do, an art I wouldn't attempt if I'd such bows as you. Of course, said the oak, in my sapling days my habit was to bow, but the wildest storm that the winds could raise would never disturb me now. I challenge the breeze to make me bend, and the blast to make me sway. The shrewd little bulrush answered, Friend, don't get so gay. And the words had barely left his mouth when he saw the oak turn pale. For racing along south-east by south came ripping a raging gale, and the rush bent low as the storm went past, but stiffly stood the oak, though not for long, for he found the blast no idle joke. Imagine the lightning's gleaming bars, imagine the thunder's roar, for that is exactly what eight stars are set in a row here for. The oak lay prone when the storm was done, while the rush, still quite erect, remarked aside, What under the sun could one expect? And the moral, I'd have you understand, would have made La Fontaine blush. For it's this, some storms come early and avoid the rush. End of the Vainglorious Oak and the Modest Bulrush